And we're back on the roof. And we got no heat call. Uh, and this one is, uh, this one's been repaired before and it's down again. So, inducer's running without lighting. So we need to see what's going on with that. So here we go. Checking our pressure switch, make sure it's closed. Nope, it's closed. Make sure we're getting a call. So I'm only getting 16 volts between R and C and between W and C. If I check my transformer here, we're getting 26.4 volts. So something's up. I removed the W wire. Currently I have no voltage. The inducer's still running. Let's kill the power. All right, so we have the W removed. The inducer is spinning, no call. All right, we're checking our low voltage fuse and it's good. I'm gonna go see if I can find a high limit switch. Um, sometimes if that's on, that could cause the inducer to run. And uh, maybe that's why the voltage is off. I don't know. But anyway, uh, yeah, there might be some, maybe maybe one of the limit switches are tripped and it's causing the board to limit voltage. I don't know. Uh, but I'm going to just, uh, you know, rule that out before we move forward. Okay. Let's see if we have. Yeah, so she's closed. I'm just going to unplug it just to make sure. Yeah. Yeah, so. It's not the limit switch. So we can see here one, pin one right here. That's our Molex plug. Comes out goes through the rollout switch, goes through that main limit, which we just checked, and then comes back and goes into pin eight. So that's one and eight. No, I'm sorry, one and six. Yeah, so we're gonna check those. We should have continuity. I just wanna make sure the wires are good. I don't know if you can see this. There's so much stuff it doesn't know what to do, but where my, where my probe is, it says one there and then three on the other side. So I know that's pin one. So that's gonna be six, so it's gonna be the two red wires here. So if we unplug that, it's this wire and this wire. So I should be getting continuity between these two. If I'm not, that means there's an open, uh, an open circuit in my rollout limit. So let's see here. One and six. So I have no tone, so that tells me that my circuit is open somewhere. So now we need to find it. So here's the rollout. There's our problem. No continuity. Yeah. So yeah. The rollout. It's weird though, it's not tripped. So yeah, we need to see what's going on with that. Okay, so I tried smacking it around. Um, I'm pushing the button and it's not allowing me to reset it. So it is definitely open. So what we're gonna do for the time being is, uh, we're obviously gonna replace this, um, but I'm gonna bypass this. Yeah, look at that. Did that show up? There's like a little burn mark there. So we're gonna bypass this and see if we can get the unit to run. And then obviously we'll get a new rollout. All right, so now if we check, um, I have it bypassed with my uh, little popper. You can see we now have continuity. So let's go ahead and power this up and see if we can get this to fire and see if the inducer turns off. So we'll go ahead and re-plug that back in. All right, fire in the hole. Okay, fan is running. Inducer is not. Gonna reconnect the W and then I'm gonna stand aside and see if it lights and make sure it's not actually rolling out and doing something weird. Alright. 
Let's see if she lights. Yep. So she lit. So it looks like we just got a bad rollout. The flames look normal to me. Hard to see it though in the sunlight. Let's see if our voltage is back to normal. Going between W and C. Yep, we have 25 volts now. So we need to get a new rollout for this bad boy. I'm not seeing any rollouts. And it's hailing now. All right, cool. So we're gonna get a new rollout for this thing. So I'm able to see the heat exchanger. I just wanna make sure there's no cracks before we do this. Uh, yeah, I don't see any cracks, so. Looks like it's in good shape. Which is unfortunate. This thing has been such a pain in the butt. This thing goes down all the time, so I was hoping I'd find a crack in it so we could finally replace it, but oh well. All right, we're back here a couple days later. As much as I didn't want to, the tenant told me to go ahead and just bypass it, so it's only been two days. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put in our new one. Uh, we picked this up from a website, actually, who had it, and it got here in like two days. It's pretty good. And this one's made by Subco. It's a SRL 300, so it's a manual reset 300. Um, it's going to take like two weeks if I got it from the local uh, Tempstar uh, distributor. So we got it through supplyhouse.com. Uh, sometimes if you can't find stuff uh, at your local distributors, you can always find it at uh, Supply House. But anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and take all this, this crappy bypass and install this new one. All right, we got the new limit switch in place and then I replaced this because it was all melted. Um, and then I've tightened up these connections. This is our old one. So let's go ahead and cycle it and make sure everything's good. Okay, we got ignition. She is good to go. Anyway, if you ever come across one of these temp star units and you're having issues, you, if uh, there's no call, the fan's running and the inducer's running with no call for heat, that usually means it's gonna either be the rollout's tripped or the, ro or the high limit inside the blower compartment which is over on that side so anyway hopefully this helps you out so thanks for watching make sure you like and subscribe comment tell me what a horrible technician i am hit that bell notification and follow me on instagram and facebook and if you like the tools i use and you want to support the channel pick them up on my tool store thanks for watching